Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Coffee Time with Mr. Yin, with your host Mr. Yin, and today we're having seltzer. Tastes great. I thought to use this video to talk a little bit about the Udemy course I've been running, and a couple of the experiences and feedback I've been receiving. So there are a couple of Udemy courses that I've started since last September. Altogether, it's about a few months of runtime. And so far, I've had three courses. The first course is Introduction to Fintech. Second course is about the fundamentals of a neural network, as well as the third course, which is the fundamentals of machine learning. So far, I think these three courses focus on different parts of the techniques. Overall, the field of data science, and from my experience of being a data scientist, and the motivation for me to do these courses is very straightforward and very simple. When I was going to school, when I was getting into the field of data science in the beginning, I've had a lot of challenges and a lot of roadblocks that I need to overcome myself. So I thought, hey, if there's a course out there that I can just watch the video and they pinpoint some of these pain spots that I can tackle in the very beginning of my data science career, then perhaps I'll be able to get above that learning curve much more smoothly and that'd be great, right? Because I felt that way myself, so I said, "Hey, if there's ever a chance in the future, I could come back and put together a list of materials, perhaps in video, code walkthrough, or slides. Then it'd be a great resources to propagate and spread to the society." Now, of course, the goal here is not to be a millionaire just simply by doing this, but a little bit of payment or feedback will be nice, right? So from that perspective, I thought, "Hey, that's a good motivation." And I went ahead and I did it, and it's been doing great. So look at this revenue report. So far, been making about two hundred and thirty-five dollars. I thought that was not that bad, right? Most of these materials are collected throughout the length of a couple of years. But if you convert that into an hourly rate, I think it's actually not that bad. It goes about thirty forty dollars per hour, considering how many hours I've put in for these courses. And so far, I think that pretty much covers the base cost. And then from there, since this is a passive income, then it's really about generating that revenue. So I thought it's a really great experience, some good information to throw together in this episode for you guys. First thing I want to share is the distribution of different countries. So looking at the map and looking at the percentage, India is the country that has the most amount of percentage of students that take my courses. And here's a message and shout out to all of you guys. Really, really appreciate that you guys take my course. And some of the feedbacks are invaluable.、Uh, if you have comments, I read all of them, and I try to implement that for the ongoing course as well as for the future course. So hopefully, these feedback can come back and serve you guys and provide a lot of helpful resources back to you guys. And then second on the list, we have Mexico. Next one is Peru, Colombia, and then the fifth one being United States. So I just want to take a moment and thank all my students. It's actually very fascinating for me to see this map. To be able to check out all of the students out there and see how you guys are interested in this course, and as well as how much you guys enjoy it. Not just for me to post a new course and get some new ratings, but also from teaching perspective, it's a really interesting social experiment to be able to translate some of my experience from school as well as from job down to slides to lectures, and then send these lectures to you guys, and you guys watch these videos and learn about these experiences yourself. It's really a great social experiment to be able to participate in this entire process. So I just want to say thank you guys for all participating in this, and I really, really appreciate you guys taking my classes. Now, last but not least, I just want to share this with all of you guys. I think learning is a lifetime goal, right? When I say learning, people think about going to school. I'm not really talking about going to school. When I say learning, I'm talking about absorbing new knowledge, and eventually you're gonna be experiencing this cycle. Which is what you're gonna read about something new. You're not gonna understand it. You're gonna feel frustrated, and chances are, it's probably gonna act as a roadblock to stop you from learning forward. And you're either gonna get past it or you're not. If you get past it, then that's great. Then you can use that knowledge. It will come back to reward you, and you will really feel that positive externality for the future of your career. And then eventually, you're gonna turn around and use that knowledge, use that experience to create value. It's going to be value for yourself, and of course, value for your boss as well, because everybody benefits when someone has a new input to the team, 
right? So all of these form a positive feedback cycle, and you're gonna go through this feedback cycle many times. And chances are, the more times that you walk through this feedback cycle yourself, the more you're gonna enjoy. And once you get a taste of what that enjoyment feels like, I guarantee you, you're gonna like it. And if you like it, chances are you're gonna keep doing it, and then eventually things just flush through, you're gonna roll that snowball bigger and bigger, and that's how you move above and beyond. So other than this Udemy course, I just really wanna share all of this with you guys, not only really just to promote my course, but also to share that positive learning experience with you guys. Hopefully the feedback can propagate and we can all learn from each other. And speaking from learning each other, that brings me to the last point I wanna make in this video. Teaching is a very valuable component for yourself to move forward. Coming from an Ivy League environment, I sometimes hear people say, those who can't do teach, right? I'm gonna be honest with you, that is a very, very poisonous thought, and you should not be having that thought, okay? Famous Stanford professor in machine learning, chances are you've heard his name, Andrew N. This guy said the following, if you can explain something to a five-year-old, chances are you don't know about it yourself. So essentially, the fundamental point here is if you truly understand something, you should be able to explain the concept to anybody, right? Your attitude should not be those who can do teach, right? Simply because student doesn't understand it, then you just don't teach them anymore. Just simply because your time is so valuable, you don't really want to teach, and you think teaching is a waste of time, right? It's not. Let me just tell you this, it's not. Teaching is a great process for you to learn something new. It's not just to fulfill that responsibility, it's a great process to learn something new. Throughout the years of me talking to my students, I actually felt very grateful that some of them are actually giving me new ideas and interesting perspectives of different ways of interpreting neural networks. And that is my field, so I talk a lot about neural networks, but really any modeling, any technical skills, even though it's technical, right? One plus one has to be two, right? What are the new ideas there? There's really no new ideas. One plus one is always two. Well, I respectfully disagree, right? Especially in the field of data science, it's really about state of art. And when it comes to state of art, it's really about communication. It's really about collaboration. And that form of collaboration with numbers, with results, with evidence, it's extremely helpful for you to form new ideas. So I 100% recommend you guys and encourage you guys to share, to propagate the knowledge, to collaborate, and really to form that positive feedback in your social group. So with that being said, hopefully it's a great episode for you guys. It's a lot of helpful information. I hope you guys enjoy it. Have a good day, and I'll see you in the next episode.